Okay guys, so this is Adam of Lambent Productions and I'm going to show you how to record your DS games with fraps rather than the Desmume Recorder or Camtasia or something like that. So let's first open our fraps tab here. Uh, this is not my information, this is some random torrent that I downloaded. So anyway, uh, here's your frap settings. Now I'm not going to be going over the FPS or movie tab because that doesn't really matter for this tutorial and that's completely situational on uh, other people's behalf or whatever. So this is the option that you want. Uh, you want this to be open because this is what will record your desktop and this is kind of a eh, not that great of a setup but it gets the job done and it makes it so you don't have to record some other random uh, using some other recorder so in order to use this method you have to have Sony Vegas or some sort of editing program which lets you zoom in on things so I'm gonna open a file in there that I recorded earlier because I can't record my desktop with fraps and then show you how to record the game at the same time. So, file, open. And you just want to go to your fraps folder, wherever that is. So, pretty much what I did was I hit the record key. You know, just click that. I usually drag them in. Anyway, I'm just going to get rid of the audio because it doesn't matter. But uh, actually there's one thing I do want to show you. I record in half screen just because it reduces lag and you don't need to record the full screen because you're recording your desktop unless you're unless you have the screens blown up that much. But anyway, as you can see in the preview window, it's just gameplay of Pokemon Platinum. Now what we want to do here is get rid of all this other stuff my desktop and my uh, taskbar and the outlines of the window. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to copy this and paste it and put this on a separate track. Move this over first, put it on a separate video track, so insert another video track. And so these two video tracks are both of your screens. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So you're going to want to go to Invent, Pan, and Crop. And here we go. So this is where the magic happens, so to speak. So you want to focus in on the first screen. Now it's kind of hard to tell, but I have a preset. So we're going to go with Screen 1. And this is move move it over a little bit slightly. See, you can see here is where the chat is at, or where the bottom of the first screen is. So you can adjust that, so you can get rid of all of the excess stuff. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, as you can see, a little bit of this is showing on one side. So you want to just make slight adjustments like that. You can save the preset, so you never have to do that again is good so save it and then exit out okay so there's your top screen so now that you have your first screen you're gonna want to do your bottom screen but the problem is that you can't see your bottom screen right now so it's kind of hard to uh, set up where you want to put the bottom screen or how to focus in on it so you can you can minimize this uh, I recommend holding shift so it doesn't or is it control? I don't know. Anyway, you, move, you can move this to the side depending on where you want it. I also have a preset for that. That's how it looks like in my Pokemon playthroughs. So I put it uh, in about the top left. So you can just close out of that now. And now let's figure out where the hell the bottom screen is on this. So I also have a preset for this, so I'm going to go to that, you can just sort of use what I do. So this is kind of messed up a little bit because I adjusted where the window was. So you just uh, figure it out and then you can uh, find where to put your preset. So there we go, now this one is uh, all set up. 
and you can adjust the track motion of this as well so I also have a preset for where I usually put it you can play around with that and there we go see it's all synced up and you have both screens now a lot of people don't put both screens because it's kinda hard to set up and I'd be honest if I didn't feel bad without having well, I don't feel bad. I just feel like it's not a true DS that let's play unless it has both screens. But, you know, some people feel differently about that, and they'll just have one screen. But this is how I do it. Uh, it doesn't... It's not as great as, let's say, if you can record the Desmume uh, emulator without any lag using the, in, uh, the video recorder built in, but it works out pretty well. Now I'm just going to show you a few settings on the DS emulator itself. Uh, this will help reduce lag in general while you're recording if you don't have the best computer like myself. So you want to go to your DS emulator, uh, Desmume is what I use, and you can go through the settings. I use the soft, uh, this renderer, it makes it a little bit less laggy I believe. I'm not completely sure about that, but I saw that that uh, changing the renderer can help and getting rid of some of the things like fog. I got rid of that. But that can also uh, mess with visual quality, so who knows if you want to mess with that. Uh, controls, that's pretty self-explanatory. And sound settings, this is a big one because you can change uh, the slowest, sounds best, I don't think the interpolation of none sounds that bad. Especially if you're going to be talking, they can't really hear the game audio that much, and that really affects lag. Uh, I, I went up, my frames went up a lot after that, and also with frame skip, you know I go with 2, and between 2 and 4, that's also good, and that's pretty much what you want to do. Uh, also you can, with view, you can change where your LCDs are. If you're going for a horizontal setup anyway, in your Pokemon layout or whatever, because most of the time when you do a DS game, you're going to have a layout. This will make it a lot easier on you. You can record the screen, and that way you don't have to do as much zooming in and such. Uh, it's, I have to do with my, the way my layout is, so... That's pretty much it. I mean, this isn't uh, the best setup, but I can assure you that it will work every time and it will be somewhat stable. So, I'll see you next time.